COVID-19 can cause a wide range of signs and symptoms. People with atypical symptoms of the infection may develop more classic symptoms, such as fever, muscle aches, sore throat, and trouble breathing. However, others may develop only atypical symptoms, and a portion of people who contract the virus does not develop any noticeable symptoms at all. In this video, we will analyze the uncommon symptoms of COVID-19 to better understand its effects. COVID-19 can cause a wide range of symptoms, both the common and classical ones we may know, as well as the atypical or uncommon signs and symptoms. Gastrointestinal symptoms may arise in people by causing a loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. These symptoms might only last one day. Some people with COVID-19 have diarrhea and nausea prior to developing fever and respiratory symptoms. COVID-19 might cause a new loss of smell or taste without nasal congestion. This typically lasts 9 to 14 days. Some research suggests that loss of smell or taste might be an early predictor of COVID-19. When scientists at UC San Diego studied responses from 59 people with COVID-19, they found that more than two-thirds of them reported loss of taste or smell. Younger people with less severe COVID-19 might develop painful, itchy lesions on their hands and feet that resemble chillblains, an inflammatory skin condition. Sometimes called COVID toes, this symptom typically lasts about 12 days. While the patients are presented with skin lesions on their feet or toes, or red rashes that may resemble a skin infection at first glance, Many of these rashes may represent superficial clotting or even bleeding in the skin or extremities. COVID-19 also has been reported to cause confusion in older people, especially those with severe infections along with delirium and other neurological symptoms. These severe neurological symptoms tend to develop later on. While this is not easy to report in an individual, common symptoms you can search for delirium is by falling in addition to fevers and gastrointestinal issues. 36.6% of admitted COVID-19 patients develop acute kidney injury, and of those 1,830 patients, 14% require dialysis to compensate for their failing kidney function. Kidney injury correlated with worsening respiratory symptoms. Nearly 90% of those needing ventilators develop kidney problems, compared to around 22% of those who did not need mechanical ventilation. The tubules in the kidney that are part of the excretion component of the kidneys do not like when there is less blood flow. When that happens, they develop ischemic damage. They are not able to maintain oxygenation and their kidneys end up getting injured. In addition, over half of people hospitalized for COVID-19 seem to have elevated or lower than normal levels of liver enzymes, which would signal that the virus has invaded the organ. Liver tests worsen when the patients get sicker and other organs, like the lungs and heart, are affected, so there is more work being done to find out the correlation between COVID-19 and the liver. In rare occasions, the Guillain-Barre syndrome can arise by having limb weakness and numbness that follow symptoms of a respiratory infection. This syndrome is an autoimmune disease that causes abnormal sensation of weakness due to delays in sending signals through the nerves. The increase in inflammation in inflammatory cells caused by the infection may trigger an irregular immune response that leads to the hallmark symptoms of this neurological disorder. In severe cases, it can cause prolonged paralysis involving breathing muscles requiring ventilator support and sometimes lead permanent neurological deficits. Early recognition by expert neurologists is key to proper treatment. COVID-19 might cause eye problems, such as enlarged red blood vessels, swollen eyelids, excessive watering, and increased discharge. The infection also might cause light sensitivity and irritation. These symptoms are more common in people with severe infections. COVID-19 may raise the risk of abnormal blood clotting, which can turn very dangerous. When clots form in small blood vessels in the feet or other extremities, it can cause minor skin symptoms. When clots occur in the lungs, heart, or brain, it can cause more serious complications, such as pulmonary embolism, heart attack, or stroke. If the virus enters cells in the heart, it can also cause a heart infection known as myocarditis. This infection may cause chest pain, abnormal heart rhythms, and even heart failure. This type of damage is very tough to manage even in hospitals and with extensive care. As many as 40% of patients who are hospitalized because of a COVID-19 infection die from blood clots, including microclots and the destruction they can cause through heart attacks, stroke, and lung damage. Some people who have been treated for COVID-19 have been presented with a strange phenomenon that clinicians have named happy hypoxia. Those people have low levels of oxygen in their blood, which would typically cause reduced consciousness. However, they've been unusually alert and comfortable. This is it for our video on uncommon symptoms of COVID-19. We hope this can help you look over your peers to make sure they're healthy. We hope you all stay safe.